Well, a blessed good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice. Welcome to Moments of Inspiration with your friend, Minister Rick. Comedy of Amachi Bay, Luthra in the Bahamas. We give God thanks today for a wonderful day and we honor him to be alive and well. This morning I want to talk to us on a subject called As a Man Thinks, So Is He. As a Man Thinks, So Is He. One of the most amazing gifts that God has given us is the human mind. The ability to learn, think, choose, and reason is the essence of what makes us human. While the ability to think makes us human, it actually goes deeper than that. Your thoughts become a reflection of who you really are. God certainly understands this and speaks to this in various places all throughout his word. One of the verses in the Bible we often quote the Bible of is from Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. While this is true, let's discuss how this can be applied. Remember now, this is talking about men and women. So women don't think you are left out of the equation. All our hearts are prone to sin. Let's read this whole verse as it applies. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, said he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. We see here a person saying one thing with their mouth, but their heart is in a completely different place. When faced with this conundrum, which one do you believe? You believe what's in the heart. The thoughts and inclinations of the heart shape the reality of who you are. They shape your thinking, which will ultimately shape your actions. Who you are on the inside and what you say on the outside don't always line up. Mm -hmm. Remember the Pharisees? They were very good at presenting themselves as very pious and devout and religious people. Yet Jesus called them hypocrites. And someone say the word hypocrite can be interpreted as an actor. They were simply just actors. I wonder what Jesus calls you. Yeah, you. You. What Jesus calls you. If you want to know who a person really is, you cannot only look at what they say, you have to look at the root of who they are, and that root is the heart. We got a saying up here that says, yeah, that's what your mouth say. But what does your heart say? Everything a person, everything a person in a person, or everything a person is, sorry, flows out of their heart, not their mouth. Everything a person is flows out of their heart and not their mouth. Jesus said, you will know them by their fruit. We know you by your fruit, not by your mouth. I have three questions for us this morning. Is your worship genuine? Isaiah 29 and 13 says, the Lord says, these people come near me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. They, their worship of me is based on merely human rules. Is this you? Are you worshiping God based on rules? Or are you worshiping him from your heart? John 4 and 23 say, The time is now where the Father seeketh true worshipers and them that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Question number two. Are you serving out of relationship? or for acceptance. Matthew 7, 21 to 23 reads, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father in heaven. That's something to think about. Many will say on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? In your name did we not cast out demons? And in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, says the Lord, I never knew you. Ouch. Away from me, you evildoers. God says on that day, I will have to tell them I never knew them because they were actors, hypocrites. What people are doing aren't bad, you know. 
prophesying, casting out demons, and worshiping God. They just weren't flowing out of a relationship with Christ, which is bad. They are using the things they do to gain favor or win God's approval. Listen to me. There is no amount of things you can do or ever do to cause God to accept you or love you more. The way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. Here's my third and final point. Are you the center of your own show? Matthew 6 and 1. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. Listen, if you're doing your deeds to be seen of men, there's no reward for you in heaven. You might say you're doing it for all the right reasons, but if you are doing it to be seen, then what you have thought in your heart, Jesus today is encouraging us to be careful of the why. Because when you know what that is, it reveals the what really in your heart. Listen, guard your heart today, people. Pay close attention to what's in them. Because as you think, so are you. Sila, think and act on these things. God bless you today. Amen.